this neighborhood has significance. And it has significance because it's one of the heartbeats of the Latino community. Finding unity in song and in prayer, Christians, Muslims, and Jews are leaning on their faith and each other to find comfort hours before Maribel Trujillo Diaz will be deported out of the United States. As a mother myself, I cannot imagine what it is like to be separated from your children or for these children with the oldest at 14 to be losing a parent in this way. Maribel was detained two weeks ago by Immigration and Customs Enforcement. ICE says she came to the United States illegally in 2002 and is out of appeals to stay with her family in Fairfield. All four of her children are U.S. born citizens and the people here tonight wanted compassion to trump immigration law. We, of course, as people of faith, believe that sometimes human laws are wrong, that slavery was legal, that the Holocaust was legal, and that just because something is the law doesn't mean that it is just. And when the law does not reflect a respect for human dignity and human worth, then the law, it, it, there's a higher law that we answer to. Let our light so shine. To end tonight's service, people walked around the church with candles to reflect on this loss and light the way to more peace and love in the world. Now, Maribel is still scheduled to be deported back to Mexico tomorrow, and she was denied access to go with her three-year-old daughter, Daniela. So now the Mexican consulate will have to wait and escort her daughter back to Mexico once Maribel gets there and is ready to receive her. Reporting live tonight in Carthage, Emily Wood, WLWT News 5.